Okay, part two of troubleshooting a water leak or a geyser leak. It's another irrigation system. Sprinkler head got busted off. Difference is on this one, it's on a lateral line. So what that means is the lateral fingers out from the main, which is hooked up to a clock, which runs zones. So if a passerby sees this, calls it in, we get out there, it finishes its time on that zone and we don't see it, it's because it's on a timer, it's on a clock. So once again, there's your stainless steel backflow box. We can turn it off there if it's still going when we get on scene, as we did the other one in the other video. Or you could find the valve box, and I've located this one here. Pop the valve box off. You can usually hear them running. Down inside here is the valve. I don't know if you can see it. And there we go. Blue ball valve down there will shut the system off for that valve. Or you can uh, take this here, which is a flow control valve, spin it like a spigot, and it'll turn it off. Your best bet is just to go ahead and take the uh, blue ball valve and shut it off. That way it doesn't shut off the whole system and the rest of the property gets watered but just a heads up on that so this geyser is on a lateral line the last one in the last video is on a main line that's going to run continuously it won't stop until you physically turn it off this will eventually go away once the timer runs out and you may not see it for another couple days whatever they have their watering schedule set as but just another tip on troubleshooting water leaks.